So what does it mean when your files are deleted? That is today's question. Well, I have a test uh, flash drive, which I put a bunch of files on and then deleted. Um, and I'm going to attempt to retrieve them. So this is Digital Forensics 101. This is basically don't ever give me a flash drive because I will attempt to do this. Um, any Anytime anyone's ever given me a flash drive, I have run foremost on it because it's hilarious to see what they've deleted from their uh, flash drive. So when you delete uh, files from a flash drive, they don't actually go away. Or from any drive, it doesn't matter. They don't actually go away. It, it will set a bit, basically, um, to zero to say that this space, the, free, the, the space that that file is taking up is now marked as free space. But it's not actually overwritten with zeros or it's not, you know, destroyed. It's not actually gone. It's still there. It's just kind of sitting there doing nothing, right? So we are going to run something, a program called Foremost, something that will allow us to retrieve files that were that were deleted but not actually deleted. And um, hopefully this will let you see what's going on and how to solve a problem like this. Like how do you delete your files for good, right? Now there's a bunch of different ways, but for now, we're just gonna take a normal flash drive. Uh, I put like a couple of JPEGs on it and a couple of Word documents and things, you know. Just normal stuff that anybody would have, and I simply deleted them. They're gone, but they're not gone, gone. So we'll uh, we'll take a look at that. So we're going to um, run foremost on it, and this theoretically will give us uh, a whole bunch of files. Well, not a whole bunch, but a few files that um, were recovered using foremost. So this will uh, this will take a while. It's a 16 gig flash drive or whatever, 16 gig flash drive. So this will actually take quite a long time to run. So, yeah, well, it'll take a while anyway, but we are going to, uh, yeah. Yay, look, a bunch of fun stuff. So we're gonna, we're gonna let this run and uh, we'll come back as soon as it's done, huh? All right, so I just remembered that um, this is genuinely all the files that I put on it because, you know, I'm an idiot. Um, so these are all the files that I actually put on here as a test um, and I've gotten, pretty much all of them back, actually all of them back. So we'll see if the deleted files that I just simply hit the delete key on um, are, let's chown that. Um, so, the, so the deleted files that I simply hit the delete key on are back, as we can see, at least in the, um, uh, the output folder here. So let's see what it actually got. We got audit.txt, which is actually just a copy of this. So, you know, whatever, it's cool. Um, we've got our Word document, and we've got a couple of JPEGs. Look at that, puppies and kittens. So these are, like I said, the files that I deleted. Um, I did wipe this, like completely wipe this drive before I started this, so it's not actually going to recover anything else. Wow, IE, okay, that's interesting. Um, huh, that's new. Um, so yeah, basically just a bunch of stuff that I deleted. So. Here's a PDF document. I mean, this is this is like the full PDF document and everything. I wonder what's it. This is oh, open the next PDF. Yeah. So yeah, this is just a little thing that it managed to open. So yeah, I I deleted the files, but they were never gone, and it foremost basically retrieved um, all the information on it. So that's just interesting. We got a PNG here. There's my logo. Yay, logo thingy, whatever, rejig. This is a Word document. I have no idea what the hell this Word document is, and I will never know, apparently. <laughs> and I never will know. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so that's how basically you get some files back. So if if you delete a file from the file system, it will mark the free uh, mark the file the files use space as free space, and that free space will get overwritten in parts. Um, so some of the output may be a little bit corrupt, maybe not. It just depends, right? It's kind of random chance. Um, and it's just, it's very interesting. So uh, Foremost will attempt to repair some of the files, uh, do some just basic file repair to get them working. Um, I've had some files where they were on a system or a flash drive for a long time and I got most of the file back with some like little corrupt bits here and there that weren't super important. You could still tell what the picture or the, uh, the document was, so it was kind of interesting, but yeah. So it basically marks it as free space and it may or may not get overridden. And so this basically takes that and kind of unmarks it, sorta. It reads the file system and says, oh look, there's a file here. 
so it's just it pulls as much of that back as possible. So how do you delete delete a file, right? How do you wipe everything? I have a program that I use on my computer that basically uh, uh, completely erases a file. And it, there's another program on here called Shred that also completely erases entire file systems or files, it doesn't matter, whatever. Um, so it'll, this program here will overwrite uh, a file many times over, or a file system many times over, with random data, with zeros, with ones, with um, 9999, right? It'll write it over and over and over again with random stuff. And then if you want it to, uh, you just input this option um, and it adds a final write um, of zeros, so that way it just looks like nothing's there and the file system doesn't see anything weird. So I, it does take a long time. It takes a ridiculously long time, but it does work. Um, there are people who advocate uh, uh, only one erase instead of multiple erases because um, foremost in any software that you use to recover data, once you wipe the system once or the file or whatever file system or file or whatever once with zeros, it's unrecoverable. Um, it is still recoverable with people with lots of time and lots of money um, who have um, things like electron, uh, you know, microscopes and things like that that can read data, um, pull chips off, and you know, governments basically. And so that is the uh, that is why you want to erase with more than one pass. But otherwise. Uh, one pass is more than enough to uh, wipe a file. So if you overwrite a file with zeros, it's gone, effectively. Um, but if you want to be super safe or super secure, you know, not even governments can get it, then uh, 7 is the recommended Department of Defense uh, uh, wipe blayers, whatever. So when people say they're doing it like a 7 layer wipe, what, what they mean is that they're wiping it once with random data, then wiping it again with zeros, then again with ones, and again with nines, and then again with another set of random data, and then again with zeros over and over and over again, and then they're wiping it one final time with a bunch of zeros. So, um, and that's actually not even all that you should do if you really want to hide data from like a government. Um, what you should be doing is you should do that software wipe and then you need to take a magnet, a neodymium magnet, and open up the case and rub the magnet over the um, over the discs. And then you take the discs and you physically destroy them afterward. <laughs> you put them through a shredder. Um, so yeah, it's it's a, it does get a bit crazy, but um, if you really want your data gone, that's the way that you should do it. Um, so this basically hopefully uh, showed you kind of how data recovery works. As long if you accidentally re, um, wipe your data, as long as you didn't use the more because the more you use a um, a file system after a data is gone, uh, the harder it will be to retrieve that data. So say um, say you uh, completely erased your hard drive. If you unplug your hard drive immediately, if you shut everything down and unplug it immediately, you should be fine. You should be able to recover pretty much everything. Like this, uh, foremost, will be able to recover pretty much any file format. So. Uh, as long as you don't use it after that, you should be able to recover pretty much everything. If you do end up using it, um, let's say you delete your file system and you overrode it and you're using it for the next couple of years, you probably won't get much. So it's all, and it's kind of random chance based as well, so it's all kind of fiddly, but um, you know, that's data recovery, that's forensics for you. So I hope this, uh, this helped a little bit clarify maybe you know um what you can possibly do uh or what other people can possibly do so uh, maybe you know look at some software uh, i'll put some links in the description below look at some software that might help if you really need it but otherwise if you say like i said accidentally remove a file you can always get it back so yay please do remember to like comment and subscribe if i see more of that i will of course do more of this and as always i'll see you next time